Hey guys, welcome to 5K Ranch. Today we'll be talking about my new Corriente saddle. And don't forget to stay to the end because we'll be talking about how to break in your new saddle. So, let's go. Here's the first look right out of the box. So, like all the brass things are oiled. They got some grease on it um, so they don't rust. Um, looks pretty nice. At the back, it's all tied. Um, sewed on here. These are, I mean, they feel, these feel pretty nice. Seat feels real nice. Looks real good. So about these saddles, so on their site you can basically fully customize the whole saddle. And so I picked out a saddle I liked and changed tons of things on it. And it's very easy to change things on there. It, I really like them. So if you're looking for a saddle, I mean you might check these because they're a very good saddle, but they're a lot cheaper than most saddles. Horn looks all good. Looks nice. So these saddles, it's I'm very pleased with what I got. Um, it's very easy. It only took like two months to get it um, after we ordered it, so it's very nice. So let's go throw this on a horse. Right, guys I got the pulling collar on the front cinch the back cinch it is all on it looks really good um, I'm excited about it even has this little pouch for like a knife or a hook pick but let's get on it All 
All right, guys, so now that we got the saddle, it's time to break it in. So the first part, you need to dip the stirrups in uh, some kind of water. So you need to get this whole thing wet. So whether you soak it in like a five gallon bucket or you just kind of dip the, this part in like a water trough, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to get real wet. So as of right now, I got the uh, stirrups and the everything up by the stirrups in the water and just soaking. It's just our trough, and it's okay if things get wet because you're just gonna oil them back up, and it'll be totally fine. But this is just to help break it in. So first, soak it. So now that we got the stirrup soaked, what you're gonna do is a uh, you're gonna twist them twice on both sides and put like a broomstick or a piece of wood or something through it. I'll show you after I get it done. All right, here it is. I got them both twisted. And I have a piece of wood through it, and that'll help turn the stirrups the way um, they need to be. And then after this, you just oil it down. Um, some people put um, baby powder up on all of it so you don't hear that rubbing noise. Um, but after this, you're just oiling it and using it. It's pretty simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash that like button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, and then smash that, uh, <laughs> click smash it doesn't matter that bell icon so it'll notify you when we post new videos but yep thank you for watching this video and we'll see you all next time and real quick if you guys want a, a cool logo and you have a youtube channel or some business there's down here somewhere a uh, a link well not a link but uh the name of the guy actually my cousin who made the my logo um so check out his youtube channel and his instagram so yep, and I'll also have the link in the description if you want to go there. So yep, see ya.